I sweat a lot, which is why I should be the perfect candidate for the new GX Sweat Patch by Gatorade. Now this is kind of a new interesting disposable fitness device piece of tech and there really hasn't been anything like it before. So let's check it out. The GX Sweat Patch by Gatorade. Designed to test your sweat and sodium levels while you work up a sweat. It'll give you personalized hydration recommendations like drinking more of a particular brand of sports drink perhaps. Just apply the patch to your left forearm and work out for 30 minutes or longer. Afterwards, you can scan the patch using your GX app on your phone and get your tailored results. But there's a catch. Well, actually there's a few of them. Number one, this is a single use sweat patch. There's actually two of them in here and at $25, they're a little over $12 each. So. That could get pretty expensive considering you're really only supposed to use one for every type of workout you do. So if you're going to the gym, that's one sweat patch. If you're taking a run, that's one sweat patch. If you're going biking, that's another sweat patch. You get the point. And it's iOS only. Now, I was going to test this out on a run outside. There's a big snowstorm and Considering this only works 47 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, I just really can't go outside and test it out right now. So that's another catch. Still, that being said, we're going to test this out this weekend doing some indoor fitness workouts. Let's see how it goes. Immediately after slapping it on, I was skeptical. I mean, how exact of a science can this be if it hardly stays on anyway? I hit the gym for an intense 40 minute long weight session and started to work up a sweat. But I didn't notice any difference with the sweat patch. There were no colors filling in like they were supposed to. Was I not sweating enough? So I got to the elliptical for a strenuous 15 minute run to find out. After three miles, I was dripping with sweat and felt like that should be enough. After 50 minutes of exercise, I did start to see an orange line work its way across the patch, but I had my doubts. All right, it is time for the moment of truth. I just got out of the gym and I have the sweat patch on my forearm right here. And it's, it's not all the way filled in, so I really, first I was skeptical before even using the sweat patch on, on how well it actually did what it's claiming to do. And now I'm even more doubtful because I got really sweaty in there and it's not even halfway filled in on these lines. So we're going to test it out using the smartphone app. And remember guys, this is iOS only. So I'm going to say, yes, I did work out today and then scan the GX sweat patch. So it says position over the patch and scan. So this patch is right here. I'm just going to scan it like that. Analyzing your sweat data, measuring fluid loss. The way you sweat is unique to you and changes each workout. How did your workout feel? Uh, it was a little bit more than moderate, but it wasn't extreme. How much do you weigh? 180. What were the conditions indoor? I did not drink anything purposefully during my workout just to test the extreme conditions. Your sweat profile results. Okay, so this is interesting. Fluid loss, 30 ounces, relatively low risk. Sweat rate, 1053 average milliliters per hour. It's got a sliding scale here, but I'm not really sure what that means. Sodium level, milligrams per liter, low. Okay, so here's the important part. Here is the summary. It looks like you lose about 1053 milliliters of fluid per hour during workouts like this. That may be true. The sweat profile will be used to calculate hydration recommendations, save and generate plan. Now it's going to tell me to drink Gatorade. Okay, now it's given me my 
GX score target this week. 70 is my weekly target. 70. It's a number it came up with. Here are the important parts. The reason that you get this sort of a fitness tech piece measurement device of equipment. Consume 24 grams of protein by 250. It's 203 right now. That makes sense. Drink 40 ounces of fluid by the end of the day. I do that anyway, so that's a no-brainer. And stretch soon after my workout. Duh. Sleep. Set a sleep schedule. Okay. Okay, so we've gone through this. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna take this off and it's got, it's got some gel that kind of came out and it's on my arm there, so that's, that's kind of funky. Would I use it again? Probably not. I mean, it's, it's a cool idea, don't get me wrong. It's, it's definitely unique and I think perfected, it could get a lot better but it's not there yet. It first and foremost did not fill with any gel like it's supposed to after about 40 minutes of heavy weightlifting exercise in the gym. I had to get on the elliptical, I had to do 15 minutes of really intense elliptical workout in order, I mean I was pouring sweat down my face and even then it didn't fill all the way with the gel. And I, I don't know if it's supposed to or what, but the recommendations it gave me, uh, eat protein, drink more fluid with sodium in it. That's a no-brainer. I do that anyway. I do that before, during, and after my workouts. And I feel like anybody who's an athlete or anybody who does workouts regularly is going to and should drink fluids and consume proteins during the day. That's common sense. It really didn't offer me anything of value. So, I mean, number one, it was hard to stay on. Like I stuck it on my arm and it was kind of flimsy a little bit. And so it didn't really stick too well. And number two, I had to wait until I had completed the entire workout more than I was anticipating. I mean, I was in there for almost an hour um, doing lots and lots of intense cardio to, to really sweat. And that's not what I wanted to do in the first place. I didn't want to do cardio in the gym. I wanted to do weights in the gym, um, but there wasn't enough gel in the uh, sweat patch in order to give me any information about uh, lifting those heavy weights. So I don't really recommend it at this point. It's cool. I like Gatorade. I do drink Gatorade on occasion, but just hydrate yourself with some water, eat your proteins, stay healthy, get some sleep. I mean, there, I saved you $25. Thanks for watching. If you like these reviews and want to see more, drop a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.